Hello, Georgetta Gang Cars here, and I'm working on another landscape. And this is actually, it's actually going into the evening, so it's getting a little bit darker. You can see I have a lot of different types of blues. And what I did is I had a teal metallic blue, and I combined that with um, my regular ultramarine white, my tea white, uh, my Mars black, and I did use some turquoise, and um, I did mix some phthalo green into that too, a tiny bit, and I kind of got this uh, darker green here, and then I just lightened it with a little bit of white. In the highlights here, I did use a little bit of yellow, but um, we'll be mixing those colors in class. I'll show you how to get them, but I did want to introduce you to a new blue that I just got. It's kind of interesting. It's by Dick Blix, and it's a metallic teal, and it's really good for evening uh, colors. It kind of pumps everything up. And the other color that I wanted to show you um, that I recently uh, got or do use a lot of times happens to be my turquoise blue. Um, and I also love this yellow oxide, but you can make these colors anyway. But um, this is just what I want to show you, and in class I'm going to show you how to bring out the highlights as far as we're going to be using a number two round brush, um, and it just kind of comes to a point, kind of like a liner. So it's not as long as a, as a rigger brush, but um, it works um, with the outlines. Um, very well. And now what I'm going to do in the next, in the video in class is I'm going to lighten this area because I need to bring some light down here from the reflections. But we'll take uh, um, a little bit uh, pictorial view of um, some photographs that I took live um, of this uh, scenery and also of some photographs like on the water on the, uh, during the evening as the light changes. So you can see really what happens with the reflections in the water. And I'll see you in class. I'm going to finish this painting on another video. Ciao.